G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. We're leaving Shelter Bay. A little bit sad to be leaving here, we've had a really good time. Um, but we're not leaving this section of the coast yet. We're gonna go about an hour uh, or less sort of inland to um, an area called Useless Loop. It is a closed mining community, um, but we've got access to get out there. And I'll tell you more about it as I learn more about it. Um, but for now, uh, everyone's packed up. And uh, basically the mission is just to get Brad off the beach. Brad's towing the camper trailer. The exit's fairly soft, it's not too bad, um, but Brad's the longest toe on the camper trailer and he's probably the heaviest. Let's see how we go getting Brad off the beach. But before we tackle that, I need a reminder to pre-order a wild touring adventure shirt or a fishing shirt. I've got this new design, which is pretty cool, as well as the two previous designs, they're all available. I've got little kid sizes right up to big fellas. I've got women's sizes, I've got the lot. Uh, wildtouring.com.au, if you wanna support the channel and get yourself a adventure shirt, Check it out, would really appreciate it. Nah, oh, he's made it look easy. Well done, Brad. Here's our host, Luke's waiting for us at the gate. Just been chatting to him on the radio. Weather's looked really good to go out in his boat tomorrow, so we're pretty excited. With local knowledge, we should catch Same some good fish. Tomorrow, 90% chance of one of five mil, but that's... So Luke was saying these big gates that water passes through between um, the bar we're on, you get massive tailor schooling up. So we're just having a quick look. I think he's found some. good fun if that's anything to go by what the rest of the trip's going to be like it's going to be good here at useless leaf i'm excited bitumen so luke was telling me that there's a hundred odd residents living here in town it's a uh, a solar salt mine which means that they allow the seawater to flow into these massive ponds and then the sun evaporates it and they essentially collect all the salt off it. That's the basic explanation of what they're doing up here. So there's a primary school up here. Um, there's a little tavern, there's a shop, there's a servo, um, lots of kids and stuff in town. It's pretty cool. Proper little community. Right, Duff's fueled up. Now we're gonna follow Luke back to his place um, and he's gonna generously let us fill up our water tanks because we're running a little low on water and we stink and it'd be nice to have showers so um, all these houses are owned by the um, mine site and supplied to the guys that work up here which is pretty cool let's have a quick look fill this water tank and then go find a campsite they give you a decent amount of room luke I've got the biggest spot here. do you are you lucky bugger? I'm very, very lucky. Chicken coop and all. Yeah. Oh, Luke, that's unreal. 
What have you, man? Wow. Oh, this is wicked, mate. Yeah, that's a harvest one. Right, oh, we're all set up. So Brad's pulled the camper out, sort of minimal setup because we're only here two nights and the whole day we're going to be out fishing tomorrow, hopefully in Luke's boat. So Brad's set up there, we're going to dig a bit of a, a, a hole there and get a fire going shortly um, as the sun sets. Gary's, uh, grumpy Gary's cracked it, so he's set up over there. <laughs> True to the name. Duffman set up over there, I'm set up here, minimal setup. And um, that's it really. I think Gary's gonna do dinner. He's doing nachos, um, which he- Chili nachos. Yeah. Chili nachos, which he did for us on the Bremer Bay trip and they were really nice. So I'm looking hey, forward to that. Hazel did them for us. Yeah, sorry, Hazel cooked them for us. She did a great job. Thank you, Hazel. Um, check this out. Luke was showing me this. There's a few big holes like this around. And he said, you, the water you can see there is pretty much fresh water and it's kangaroos that are digging these and you can see the kangaroo tails and and legs and stuff where they've been standing there it, we're quite close to fresh water it's only sort of you know 300 mil underground there and the kangaroos know that so they've been around here wallowing under the trees and drinking holes and finding fresh water there's quite a few holes like that pretty cool so might see some in the morning be nice anyway i'll stick the camera back on as we get the fire going and dinner cooking and we'll enjoy a, a nice sunset. Still got a couple of my homemade toilet paper lint, old cooking oil fire lighters. <laughs> Beautiful around the fire, isn't it? Um, Alright Gazza, what have you done? Oh, um, what have we done? We've got Doritos, and we've got a bit of chili. You doing nachos? I can't we see We're doing nachos, we've got some sour you... cream. Oh sorry, you want to Can they go brighter? Like Brighter? Yeah. There you go, nachos. Beautiful. With um, the old mission. Yep. Tortilla. Triangles. Very nice. Cheese. Sour cream. Simple. And you pre-made your mix. Pre-made it, yeah. Brought Beautiful. it down, yeah. Thanks, Gazza. Oh, good, mate. Beautiful. Yeah. And everyone's um, happy to grab a feed. We got guest of honor, Luke. Guest of honor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Hazel, it's the, beautiful. The host. <laughs> beautiful, mate. Yeah? Yeah. No, it's awesome. good. This looks good. How is the bread? No, oh, beautiful. Yeah? Do you get yeah. sour cream? I don't do sour cream. Oh, don't you? No. Nah. All right. Slap off milk. All right. Do you want to get in there? Cool. I'm going to dig in. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. We'll be on Luke's boat, I think. All goes well. Weather's looking good. Should be a good day. I turned the air on last night, and I was like, oh, this is nice. And... <laughs> Sweating. Yeah. Yeah, it's humid, Jeez, isn't it? It's high, isn't it? Freaking sticky ass.
Oh, we're up at Sparrow's Fart. Luke's picked us up right out the front of camp and he's gonna take us to some secret spots. So we're, uh, what are we looking at? Like pretty much any sort of diverse way. Bordies, um, Pink Snapper, Red Emperor, um, Red, uh, red Throat Emperors. Yep. And um, <laughs> Goldfish, Big Carp, you reckon? But yeah, that's pretty much the main things and see if we can get any mackerel. Oh, a bit of a troll out maybe as well? To the spots, yeah. Yep. Beautiful. So basically all the delicious five-star fish. Yeah. Sun's just rising, it's still dark out, but when we get there, I'll show you what the fishing's like. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! What do you got? Oh, Way! Yeah. Good fish, guys. Oh, I'm gonna go home. That's what Wait, I'm take done. your bow arm off. Bow arm off before you hook him. And he goes, he well done. No, I'm not. How can you not feel that? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know he was on. Your arms are too big, guys. That's why. Look at that. Well done. He's heavy. Yeah, well done, well done guys. Yeah. Good job, brother. That's what you wanted, mate. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit chaotic. All the lines are tangled, but everyone's pulled up a pink ears. Yeah, you just want this cut? This is Tony's one he's just pulled oh, in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll grab those pliers, mate. Cheers, thank you. Well done, Duff. Yeah. We're on the bottom. Whack. And we're on. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. Oh, he's pulling hard, too. Yeah, he is. Oh, that's a ripper. <laughs> I'm actually, it's either a big damn um, snapper or I'm calling a red. The way that's pulling. Oh, I'm having it either. I'm not really You're on, mate. Duff. Whack. Yeah. Yeah, whack. Yeah, everyone's on. I didn't even realise. Yeah. I can't even feel this sometimes. Yeah, he's got to give him a good whack. Whack that, buddy. I think this might be us done, eh? This might be the bag limit. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you didn't do your workouts this morning, Duff. Not yet. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's it, I'm hoping that's me, not you, Brad. Huh? <laughs> I'm gas. <laughs> Holy dooly! What is it? Oh, oh, oh. big pinky. Right. I'm oh, still twisted. I, I don't know. Oh, that is yours. Ooh. Oh, beauty. Woohoo! Just there as well. Oh, All right, hang on. Let's get you sorted. Nah. What are you doing? Stuff still going there. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a long way down. Fuck <laughs> okay, it. I'll just cut me stuff, Brad. Right? Oh, oh, yeah, pinky. Fish more. Oh, look at the size of that. Nice colours, but not big enough, eh? Nah, not compared to that bro. thing. That's a horse. Yeah. Man. Woohoo! Lovely. Cheers, Luke. That's awesome, mate. No worries. Beauty. Luke, it's not a race, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, you can win them. Ah, you know, it's going to be fair. <laughs> Running. Oh, I got you, Luke. Hey. Fuck, I thought it was mine. Come on, you dog. Watch the other way, watch the other way. Sorry about size. Yeah, she's size. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, you got one up, Whitey. 
That's not a bad sign. Oi. Hold on, Brad. Bang him in. I've heard of blokes fishing before. I always thought it was just like a little whiting and you're lucky you get two herring, but it is insane. It's not really fishing, is it? It's nah, just it's catching. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's cheating a bit up here, if anything. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers How Luke, good. Luke. Cheers, Luke. Champion. Word for the day is schnapper. Thank you, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're a schnapper. How good. Bagged out in about 20 minutes. Yeah. It's only 9am. And most of the time was getting out of here. <laughs> Luke definitely knows the spots. When are you starting your charter business, man? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you could. Yeah, you might get a few emails when come safe. Mm. <laughs> It was such a good morning um, fishing. A few of us were saying it's like some of the best fishing we've ever done. I reckon it's the best fishing I've ever done. Like 20 minutes we bagged out, it was wicked. But um, we're all really well cooked in the sun. I'm shattered though. I am. Yeah. You know, you sit down, you're not getting up. We're exhausted. So we're gonna have some lunch. We're gonna have, um, we've processed all the fillets. Um, Luke's gonna come over tonight, we're gonna have another fire and we're gonna have fish and chips for tea, we're gonna cook for him. But um, for lunch, so I've, so I've set aside fillets for that. We're also taking home fillets off those pinkies. The necks we've processed, the wings, and uh, I'm gonna do them for lunch with some with some rubs. So the last one I did the other day was that um, Mac Bros seasoning, the, the Bully Butchers um, collaboration with them. What was it called? Black Bull. That was nice. It's, it's really more of a beef rub. Um, I'm going to do a, the, their garlic nija on half of them. So we'll do four with the beef rub and four with the garlic rub and, um, and see what's good. Okay. Like a big spatchcock chicken. So what you may not know is several days ago, Gary's gone to bed and uh, he's climbed into his swag, pulled the sheets up to his neck and he's just about to go to sleep and he's found a little ghost crab, a small um, beach crab in his swag, along with a good handful About of sand. four kilos of sand, yeah. Yeah, and Duffy thinks he's hilarious because he's throwing this thing in and anyway, payback's a bitch. Gary's finally got his opportunity for a little bit of revenge. What are you gonna do, Gas? Well, I've zip tied his um, his zips uh, on his on his swag, both sides. So when he wakes up, because he's gone for an afternoon nap now. So when he wakes up, well, we're gonna hear some yelling, I think. So we just decided how long we're gonna leave him sweating in there. I reckon a solid ten minutes. <laughs> oh, after after he wakes up. Yeah. yeah. We were thinking about building a fire underneath his swag. <laughs> <laughs> that was discussed. All right, we'll I'm wait. Pasting him with herbs and spices. Yeah. All right, we'll wait for him to wake up. All right, we've let him sleep long enough. He's got a um, he's got a push button start car. So as long as his keys are in proximity, I think they're in his swag. We should be able to start his car. So I'll set up a camera. 
and then we'll start his car and see if it gets him up. Right, so Luke's rocked up, fire's been lit, and um, I'm on dinner duty. So I'm gonna be cooking beer battered fish and chips. I've got some oil on the go already on Brad's cooker. Real simple um, beer batter, can of emu export, and some self raising flour. Nice and lumpy, straight into the oil. And some chips. Oh, it's just album. Right. Got to try some of the fresh snapper. Let's mm. get a bowl. It was mm. awesome, Cam. All right. You've achieved. Cool, man. Mm. Cam, that is amazing. Good one, brother. Thank you, Mike. Pleasure. Cheers. That's bloody good. Yeah. All right, gonna smash this around the fire with the boys. That's the end of this episode and that's the end of this series. Back home tomorrow, <clears throat> back to reality, planning the next trip. Thanks for following along guys and I'll see you in the next one, cheers.